Hello. In this video, I'm going to be demoing my DIY solar generator that I built from a rolling toolbox. I've added links below to all of the parts that I've used for this build. So if you want to create your own and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So the whole system actually fits inside this rolling toolbox that I got from Home Depot. I like that it has wheels and a telescoping back handle. Makes it very easy to roll around. I also like how it has a nice sturdy top handle and side handles. So if you do need to pick it up and move it around, it's pretty manageable. I also like how it, the wheels and the back handle detach completely from the box. So if, you, if you're transporting it and you need to save some space, that's a handy feature to have. Some of the features of the solar generator on this side there are two AC outlets connected to a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. There are also USB ports, uh, USB and USB-C for charging devices. On this side we have a 12 volt output socket and a battery capacity meter that shows real time uh, current drain and the remaining battery capacity. Uh, on this side we have an exhaust fan, a voltmeter, and a battery disconnect switch. So if you, uh, if you need to disconnect the entire system for long-term storage, uh, the battery disconnect's a handy feature to have there. On this side we have a solar input that can take 800 watts of solar. We also have a uh, AC input for charging the battery. Uh, the box has a 20 amp battery charger uh, built in. Uh, we also have an intake port there and a mini circuit breaker. So these are uh, 20 amp circuit breakers for AC, DC, and solar input. Inside the box we have the inverter up top. That's connected through a 300 amp fuse down to the master switch which connects to the battery. The battery is a 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate, which gives me a capacity of about 3,500 watt hours. The fuse housing is attached to the inverter with this 3M VHB double-sided sticky tape, very solid connection. In the corner we have the 20 amp battery charger. In this corner we have the exhaust fan the master switch down below, the 12 volt socket, and the battery capacity indicator. In the middle we have the 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller. On this side we have the wiring for the negative terminal bus, kind of tucked in here so it's a little crowded. Underneath that is the wiring for the fuse block and AC outlet and solar input. One of the nice features of these modular toolbox systems is you can actually buy these smaller toolboxes that sit on top of the main box and you can lift up the handle to lock the smaller box into place so that way it doesn't you know, slip off when you're moving the whole cart around. And in this box I have some solar cable storage a uh, power strip underneath and some extra fuses and things like that in the storage box there. So pretty handy to have. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps you build your own solar generator.